But first tonight, a West Warwick fire station on Main Street temporarily closed down today after a crash. Fire officials tell us an open door on a fire truck ripped down part of the building there. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Sheena Loshudo. Let's get right to Lauren Brill in West Warwick. She has the latest on the cleanup process over there. Well, Sheena, the truck has been removed, but take a look at the damage. Emergency contractors still working at this hour to make repairs. Now, the battalion chief says this will not stop the department from responding quickly to any emergencies in the area. People stopping to take a look after a West Warwick fire truck caused some damage to Station 2 on Main Street. Upon exiting the firehouse, one of the compartment doors did open, uh, being a very old uh, early 1900s firehouse, a very tight and compact firehouse. Uh, the compartment door struck the side of the building. Take a look at the aftermath. The fire truck ripping down the side of the building stuck halfway out of the door. No one was injured as a result of the accident, but now they have a long road ahead of them, calling in emergency contractors this afternoon to clean up and make sure the structure and door is stable. Then we'll assess the situation and get permanent contractors in there to stop making the repairs to get the fire company companies back in the neighborhood to respond. He estimates this will take a few weeks. Alan Gorton lives in the area and worries about how this will impact the department's ability to respond quickly. I don't know if we're going to have to have mutual aid or if they're coming down from the fire station up in Arctic. I mean, I think the response time is pretty good around here, but hopefully it doesn't take long. And so we can say, you know, the battalion chief tells me this station's crews were only out of service for about an hour and they've relocated them to nearby firehouses. He assured us this will not hinder their response time to this neighborhood. One's in the Natick firehouse. That's the rescue company and the, the engine company is in the Arctic main station. And again, about less than a mile in each direction. The fire truck removed from the building. The damage only appears to be minor. It's been sent to a repair facility and they have another truck coming in as a replacement. The battalion chief says they're still trying to figure out exactly how much these repairs will cost and where this money will come from. Live in West Warwick, Lauren Brill, 12 News.